Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to share WordPress post on Reddit. Suppose I want that whenever I will create and publish a new post on my WordPress account, the same post should also be shared automatically on my Reddit account. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to integrate both these applications and that we are going to do with the help of an amazing automation and integration software Pabli Connect. Now here we have WordPress in our trigger and Reddit in our action. So we are going to connect both of them by using using Pabli Connect in order to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that how can we automatically share our WordPress post on Reddit. So I have created this automation by setting up a simple integration between WordPress and Reddit and that I have done with the help of Pabli Connect. So we are going to create this automation step by step with the help of Pabli Connect. This is the home page of Pabli Connect and we can reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect this URL in our browser. Once we will reach on this home page, we can find two options over here, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account. And also also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, because I'm already an existing user, therefore, I'm clicking on sign in. And this is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So here on the dashboard, we can find all of our workflows and we can also create folders over here in order to save our workflows. Okay. As you can find, I have two folders here in this test integrations folder. I have saved a lot of workflows in the same manner by creating folders. You can separate your workflows and save them accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option given on right corner with blue color. So let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow so first of all let us provide a name over here share wordpress post on reddit okay and now after giving the name we can also select the folder in which we want to save our workflow so from the drop down i'm going to select test integrations folder and now we'll click on create as we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us, trigger and action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts or the two main principles on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, in any workflow, we can have only one trigger, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now, let's suppose here we are going to take WordPress in our trigger and edit it in our action. And we want that as soon as we will create a new post and publish it on our WordPress account, automatically the same post should also be created and published on our Reddit account. Here we can find that our action is the response towards our trigger. Now, after understanding the concept of trigger and action, let's start creating this workflow step by step. First of all, we will select our trigger application that is WordPress. So let's select it over here. And then we have to select our trigger event. Now, what is trigger event? Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to start. Now, here we are going to select new post published as our trigger event, as we want that whenever a new post will be published on our WordPress account, the response of that post should be captured here automatically in Public Connect. And by using that response, the workflow should get triggered. Okay, now, as we have done that, we can find that a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions that we have to follow in order to connect our WordPress account with Pabli Connect. And in doing that, the webhook URL is going to act as a bridge, which is going to send the data from WordPress towards Pabli Connect. Okay, so first of all, let us copy this webhook URL. And then I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. So first of all, I'm going to take you towards my WordPress account. And then we have to go towards plugin section. Here we have to click on install plugins. And basically we have to search WP Webbooks over here. And you can find that I have already installed the plugin WP Webbooks. So you can find that I have already installed WP Webbooks. If you have not installed the plugin, then you have to go towards add new plugin and then you have to install it first. Okay. This is going to make the connection between WordPress and Public Connect easy. Now, after doing this, we have to go towards settings section and here we can find that WP Webbooks is visible over here. So we'll select it. And as we have selected WP Webhooks, here we can find the option of send data. So let's select it. And here we have to select the triggers. So we can find multiple trigger options. Among these options, we have to select post created as our trigger option. Why? Because our trigger event in Pabli Connect is new post publish. So we want that this workflow should trigger when the post will be created. Now, after selecting the trigger, we will click on this add webhook URL button to create a new webhook. And now, first of all, we have to provide the name to this webhook. Okay. So let's say I'm going to give the name as 
integration. Now in the field of webhook URL, I'm simply going to paste the URL which we have copied from Fabric Connect. And now we will click on add for post create. And here we can find that the webhook URL has been added. So this is our webhook URL with the name as integration and it is added over here. So what we are supposed to do, we will have to click on this three dots and then we have to go towards settings. And here in the trigger on selected post types, we have to select post and then we have to select trigger on initial post status change as published. So what does this mean? This means that whenever a post will be created and the status of that post will become published, then this webhook is going to trigger. Okay, now we'll click on save settings. And with this, our settings are saved. Okay, so we will go back towards Fably Connect. And here we can find that it is showing waiting for webhook response. W what does this mean? This means that now we have to do a test submission by creating and publishing a new post in our WordPress account so that the response of that post could be captured over here. So again, we will go towards our WordPress account. And here I'm going to click on add new post to create a new post over here. And now we are going to create a new post on our WordPress account. First of all, I'm going to provide a title for the post. Let's say benefits of healthy lifestyle. Okay. Now after giving the title, I'm going to provide the content over here. I have entered the content and now we are going to click on publish. And here our post is published. So we'll go back towards Fably Connect and here we can find that we have received the response. So in the response, we have received all the details of the post, the link of the post, the status, title and the content okay so now because we have received this response that means we have successfully built an integration between wordpress and public connect and now we are going to move further towards our next action step that is creating a post on reddit so we will be creating a post on reddit by using the same response which we have received from wordpress so for that let's select our action application as reddit now here we have to select our action event and if you want to create a post along with the image then you can select this action submit an image post because I'm creating a text post therefore I'm going to select submit a text post over here. We'll click on connect and now because I've already built a connection with my Reddit account I'm going to go with existing connection. If you want you can also create a new connection over here. Okay so we'll click on save. And after connecting our Reddit account with Pably Connect, we will have to enter the details in these fields so that we can create a new post. First of all, it is asking us the title. So, so in this field, we have to enter the title of the post which we want to create. We want to create a post by using the response which we have received from WordPress. So what we are going to do, we will simply map the data from WordPress. Now what is mapping? Mapping is inserting the data from our previous step. Here we can find that our previous step that is WordPress is given. And when we will select that, here are all the details related to the post. Okay. Okay, so what we want, we want the title. When we will select the title, it will be mapped automatically over here. Now, why we have mapped this title instead of entering it manually? Because we want that as soon as a new post will be created on our WordPress account and the response of that post will be captured here in Public Connect, automatically the title of the post should get replaced with a new title of a new post in this field. Okay, but in case if we will enter it manually, then it will become static and it is not going to change with each and every response. Therefore, wherever in the workflow we want that data should replace automatically, there we map it. And when we want the same data each time, then we type it manually and that is called as static mapping. Now after mapping the title in the same manner we are going to type the text also that is the content of the post. I am going to search for the content over here and it has redirected me towards the content. Adopting new healthier habits may protect you. Okay so this is the content. I am going to select it to map. Okay so after mapping the content the next thing is the subreddit name. Now here in this field, we have to enter the name of the subreddit that is the community on which we want to create a new post. So I'm going to take you towards my Reddit account and this is the community which I have created with the name as Easy Healthy Life. I want to create new post on this particular community. So what we are going to do, we will simply enter the name of this community here in this field. So if we will look towards the URL, here is the name of our community that is subreddit Easy Healthy Life. I'm going to simply copy it and paste it over here in this field. Okay, so I have entered the subreddit name and now we will simply click on save and send test request. And here we have received the response along with the ID of the post. Because we have received this ID, that means a new post is created on our Reddit account. Let's go and check on the community. And here we will refresh the page once. 
and we can find that yes automatically here the post is created benefits of healthy lifestyle that means our workflow is perfectly successful and we have successfully built an integration between wordpress and reddit and now whenever a new post will be created and published on our wordpress account automatically the same post will also be shared on our reddit account so we are going to check this workflow once again here i am going to create a new post by clicking on add new post and as soon as i will create a post over here automatically the same post with the same content will be shared on my reddit account without any efforts so let me give a title over here hacks to achieve a healthy lifestyle and here i'm going to enter a content so after entering the content i'm going to click on publish to publish this post and now as we have published our post let's go and check on reddit account whether the same post is shared on our community or not we are going to refresh the page once and yes we can find that within seconds without any efforts a post is created over here hacks to achieve a healthy lifestyle with the same content which we have used in our wordpress post so this means that our workflow is running perfectly fine we will go back towards public connect and we will summarize what we have done here in this workflow so we have taken two simple steps trigger and action in trigger we have taken wordpress and in action we have taken reddit and we have connected both of them by using public connect in such a way that now whenever a new post will be published on our wordpress account or automatically the same post will also be published in our reddit account so in the same manner by following the same steps you can very easily create this automation and this is going to help you to automatically share your wordpress post on your reddit account so this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate many other applications by using public connect now if you have any doubt you can directly reach out to us at support at the red public dot com if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum dot public dot com and if you want to ask any pricing related issue then you can directly reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful in any way do not forget it to share it with your friends and also please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations